Garland with Heart of Texas. Good yes, to see you. Merry Good. Christmas. Good to see you again, Sal. <laughs> Welcome to Whoville, which we call Hughville here for Houston. Yes, sir. <laughs> so are you, are you are getting, ready getting, to, getting ready to make your rounds? I'm getting ready. It's what, 21 days away, 22, 23, something like that? <laughs> I get Same. lost in time this time of year. <laughs> they stay real busy, huh? Yeah, we're staying busy. Have you been a good boy this year? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what kind of presents I can bring. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, Santa, it's really good to see you again. Good and we to see appreciate you. it. I always look forward to seeing you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks, right. Santa. Merry Christmas.
glass between Santa and the kids. If the kids want to sit with Santa, so they can take more photos, but it's safe. Um, we have sanitizing stations that are touchless all around the entire area. So this is our first year, and it's, it's been such a huge hit. Everyone has just had a great time when they come to this. Now, I was seeing one online that I guess the mayor was doing the press conference on it. Was that was that called? That wasn't actually spectacular. That actually that press conference said nothing to do with that. It was oh, just really? the title of an article that included a lot of good things. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that had nothing. To do. Yeah, it wasn't the movie, but the mayor does want to stop by. Some of his team came by last night. Nice. So he said he's going to try to stop by next week. Oh, nice. So everything's spaced out? Everything's spaced out. Like, as you guys know, we shut down for 35 minutes in between and we sanitize everything. We have a free, uh, our entire staff starts we clean, we spray, we have to everything in between, replenish the snow, um, flip all of that stuff, wipe everything down that was touched, and then we can reopen. Um, on the weekends, on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, we have the Grinch and Santa, but Santa's here every day. And the Grinch only comes to the so everything is spaced out, and as you'll go around, you'll see a lot of stuff that's even non touch but it's all still fun photo opportunities you can have your family. It's, it's, it's a great, it's a great photo opportunity oh, yeah. for your Instagram. Exactly, your... Instagrammable. Like uh, the kids have been loving the show, and of course the yeah. snow. That's I honestly did not think that'd be the biggest hit, but it's just turned into one of the biggest hits. So yes, I'm, I'm loving it. That's it's very cool, you know? It is, and we we are operating at only 20 percent capacity. So as you can see, we're not super packed, and that's what's going to be throughout the entire time. Um, the capacity in here is over actually 400, but we stop at 150. So oh, wow. we are way below, and that way everyone has the space and they can wander around and they need Yeah. And. Uh, Tell me about the hot chocolate. Really great hot chocolate. Oh, yeah. So the Joe Cone has a hot chocolate bar. You have to try it. So when you come, the hot chocolate and coffee bar is free. Um, and they, like, make everything from scratch. So you have to tell me how to nice. it. They're amazing. They're right over there. So they're um, a Houston-based company. They have a food truck. And they're, they set up in here for the month to be here. And they even they do have dough cones. But they're selling their donut cones. They're green, like the Grinch. Oh, wow. uh, however, they, um, anything that you to buy one, those proceeds also go to the doctor the families for the holidays, and all the toys you see here will also be going as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's all going to the good point. Exactly. We're going to, like, um, people are writing in or nominating different charities or families that may need help this holiday season, whether it's, it's gifts for kids or Carnegie Bill or food, and we're taking those into, uh, like, our board and our charity, and then the money we raise from, like, the uh, hotel shop, the dome home, and then, of course, our toys will all go towards that to to give back. Yeah. And uh, how long would you say that uh, an average rotation would take to, I to think, go through the whole... I think a, a, maybe a little over an hour, it seems like it's taking, to be honest with you. Like, you actually start with everything, you take your photos and check it out. It's a little over an hour. So I think an hour and a half gives you enough time to also visit what the do you want? Too, and shop at the shop. But it's taking about an hour, I think, for everybody on the and Santa and the Grinch are only here on the weekend? Nope, Santa's right over there right now. He doesn't see it yet. Oh, okay. But the Grinch is only here on the weekend. So oh, you can see Santa's in the Yes, ma'am. He's in his sleigh. <laughs> All right. Well, well thank, thank you, you so much. You ready, baby? I'm ready. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. <laughs> Welcome back to Word of Texas TV. Hi, everyone. We're here at Bluefield. Yeah. Oh, we're having the we're best. Currently having the most amazing hot chocolate from the Dough Cone. Either one of us has ever had. Oh my gosh! So cute. Okay, so we're gonna try this hot chocolate right now. Yeah, we're gonna try this hot chocolate right now. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. 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 It's so Cinnamon flavor, huh? It's amazing. And the whipped cream, that is what it's called. Uh -huh. The whipped cream is so good. It's to die for. I don't know if it's to die for, but it's the best hot chocolate I've ever had. Oh my gosh. I need some right now. Mm. Oh, it's so, y'all, we are at Mooville. And this event is going to take place all the way through December 24th. December 24th, which is Christmas Eve. And so
So we're going to go around here. We're going to do a few interviews. And we are going to show you what this place is all about. Let's show them. And also, if it's wheelchair accessible. So far, we think it might be. Let's show you what we see. Tell me, tell me, what do you think? Come on, tell me what Down you think. Down the hatch. Oh my goodness. All right. So I'm feeling nutmeg. There's some whipped cream. Mm-hmm. Oh. You know what it is now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> And then there's some marshmallows down underneath the whipped cream. Oh my gosh, I have to try this. It's great, baby. You need to dig in right now. Okay. Whoa, look at them eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's Christmas in a cup right there. This is literally the best Christmas. Christmas in a cup. That's what we're gonna call it. Oh my gosh. Uh, so y'all been around for, for, since 2016? Yep. Uh, and you're the, the owner? I'm the owner. Operator? Uh -huh. The owner and the creative mastermind behind our dope Oh, nice. Yeah, but my team are, are I'm Santa Claus, like they're also Santa Claus, because they make it awesome. <laughs> y'all got a good team. They're amazing. I mean, they're gonna keep us in over here. She's killing it. I'm doing amazing all night. Yeah. So she's like a machine, she doesn't stop. She had the snow cone, what, six, eight months ago? Several months ago, really. Probably a year ago. <laughs> wow. And uh, I guess the, the truck moved from, from where it was? Yes. And uh, how, how would you go about, about finding them? So we actually started putting our location on our website, which I think has helped a lot of people. Um, you know, we used to post it to our Instagram story. People would be like, where are you, the DM us. So now we've just like kind of created this like little platform on our website that we just direct everyone to through all of our social media. That's good. Yeah. And um, so the snow cone truck, do y'all do y'all have a, 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 a home base, I guess? Yeah, we, we love to operate out of the Buffalo Bayou Park downtown. Like that's our home, it's at 105 Sabine Street. And we have like found like this great community there. We have all these people who are passing by, like, you know, they're finishing their workouts, and they're like, "Well, I want to treat myself." And we have our regular guests who are coming in from all over town. It's centrally located, it's right next to downtown, it's ten minutes from our pop up. You know, so I mean, it's just it's been amazing. That's great. And I hear that y'all are y'all are thinking about. Setting up a, a second truck? Or... Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have plans to expand in the future, but COVID kind of made everything TBD. So for so, right now, so the down the exactly. I mean, you know, we are one of the lucky businesses to still be able to be operating with our full team. Yeah. You know, during this time, not everyone has been so lucky. So we're counting our blessings right now and still figuring out how to continue to grow the business during a time like this. So yes, we've uh, partnered with a retailer. Uh, created like wholesale concept ice cream we work with like restaurants like Crafita, Weirdo Bakery, Anonymous Cafe, and about 15 other places in Houston that you know we create unique flavors for. And then we do our catering business and we do pop ups like this, and so you know it keeps our team really busy. Yes, sir. How many, how many crew members do you have on your team? I have a lot, I have a lot of people working with me right now, and um, they're all they're all amazing. Yes, sir. It, by, by what I've seen tonight, they, they are. Thank you. I'm, I'm very lucky to have this. Chocolate was very unexpected. Thank you. I wish you would have seen her face. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> but the hard work is the team. So. Yes, sir. It takes, it takes a village. Yes, it definitely does. I'm very lucky to have them. Yes, sir. Hi, I'm Avi uh, with the Doco, and I'm the owner. Um, we're over here at Whoville with the Heart of Texas TV. So excited to be here. Come visit us at the Whoville pop-up. We're so excited to have everyone come out. Complimentary hot chocolate and coffee, and also our seasonal dough cone, the mean green color that everyone recognizes. Um, let us know if you guys need any private catering. Come out to Whoville. We'll do socially distanced groups and have fun with everyone. I wonder if I can get on this.
because this is me putting in our what we call our saucy lining. Oh my gosh, y'all look at that. Strawberries peeking in the bottom there. We so call at the bottom the, is a strawberry, so yes. the stuff doesn't leak out. Oh my we goodness. We call it the surprise finish. We go over here and I'm gonna put some ice cream in it. All of our ice cream is fresh. This is not soft serve, it's soft style ice cream. Okay, I got some pecan here for you. And everything is placed with love. But sometimes for a speed of time, we just throw it on. <laughs> Lovingly. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then did you want like a little drizzle of Nutella on here as yes, well? Yes, please. Okay, cool. Is that like my little bartender trick? <laughs> Y'all, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So. Girl, and then a little whipped cream. Okay. <laughs> we got whipped cream for days. <laughs> the clouds opened up at Costco the other day. They're having a sale. I bought everything. <laughs> a little whipped cream here on the side. And I'm just gonna give you a dash of holiday sprinkles, that's okay? Oh my gosh, yes, thank you. We like to make it pretty. You got layers of flavor and beauty here. Okay, and then I'm gonna hand this over to you. Ah, thank you so much. Absolutely. Y'all, look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That is too pretty. Hi everyone. Welcome back to the heart of Texas. I'm Garland. And I'm Kezia. And today we're going to be telling you about our experience at the Houston Whoville. Whoville. So. Down in downtown Houston. Whoville, y'all. It is a mixture of Houston, the greatest city in all the United States. And Dr. Seuss's Whoville. That's right. And this it was year's fresh. the uh, this year's the first the first year that they're doing the event, and uh, it was it was pretty cool. It was very it was pretty cool. It was definitely an Instagrammer's play, PlayStation play PlayStation. But no, not PlayStation like that. But PlayStation as in play area. It was super cool. They had different photo booths everywhere. They were all spread out. Fake ten feet snow. Apart. Yeah, ten feet apart. That's right. They're all ten feet apart. Sorry, baby. <laughs> Fake snow, which we both played in. We did. Cause <laughs> I'm sure you'll see it. Up there. Oh yeah. Um pictures with Santa, which were very social distant friendly. So there was Pexi glass in between Santa and the person taking the picture. So you're not near Santa, but he's on the other side and you still get a picture with him. So that was pretty cool. It was it was the safest way to do it. So, guys, I want to talk to you all about questions you might have if you decide that you want to go find Whoville. Also, later in the, to this episode, we'll show you how to teleport. We figured it out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> on the way to Whoville. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about some things you might need to know before you get to Whoville. And uh, let's, uh, let's get to it. So baby, do you have to wear a mask? Absolutely. A mask is required in Whoville. However, the like I mentioned before, every picture opportunity station is 
is spread 10 feet apart from each other so you're able to to take your mask off for those picture opportunities so next question uh do they serve food there no there is not a restaurant in whoville however you can get Y'all, the most delicious hot chocolate, life-changing hot chocolate you will ever. Oh, they'll, they'll, ever. they'll see. They'll see. They had... Have. Or I guess they have until the 23rd uh, of this month. Yes, the last day they for who was on the 23rd. Oh my gosh. Yes. The best hot chocolate I've ever had. Y'all, my life has changed and for the better. You'll see whenever she took her first sip of hot chocolate that her eyes got huge. <laughs> she said, no, I don't want a hot chocolate. I'm hot on the coldest day of the year. Well, technically... It was supposed to be colder. Well, she's wearing this big old pink coat. Because it was supposed to be like 40-something in Houston. But it ended up being like 60. And it's hot. It was cold at night, though. So, it did get cold. But, yeah, we were supposed to have the coldest day since, you know, Houston doesn't really have too many cold days. And we all were all out in our coats. And it was hot outside. But this hot chocolate, what well, it's complimentary at Whoville. It's life changing. I, I, I can't say anything more, baby. It's life changing. Nobody needs to hear it. They, <laughs> they've seen it on your face. So is there a bar? Yes. There's a bar. However, the bar is only open Friday through Sunday. And you can get the hot chocolate Monday through Sunday. And your dough cone. Don't forget to get your dough cone. Please don't forget to get your dough cone. <laughs> okay. Why are ticket prices different for different days? Well, on Friday through Sunday, they have the Grinch and the Santa. And also, they have an open bar, and as well as the week of Christmas that will also be available. That's why the ticket dates very in price so maybe yes, can baby. you uh can you change your ticket date you cannot change your ticket date however you can change your time with on the day of you can change your time of the day of yes so let's just say you buy a ticket for the fifth and you say you want to come at 1. And you can't come at 1. So you can't change it to the 6. But you can change it later in on the day of the 5th. That is good to know. Hell yeah. So baby. Mm -hmm. Can you change the day of when you buy your tickets? No. You, you can't. And I'll tell you why. So... During during this pandemic, we're we're made to wear masks and social distance, and we're supposed to social distance without overcrowding. So this area is allotted four hundred people per, I guess, the venue space. However. For COVID reasons, they're cutting that that number down to from one from 
400 to 150 per uh, time slot and that's that's why you can't change your time your times on your tickets or that's why you can't change your dates on your tickets but only your times because there's this only amount of number of people that can come per day that day <laughs> So if you if you had to change or if you can't 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 come, we're very sorry <laughs> that you really cannot change your day. Is this event indoors or outdoors? It is an indoor event, and it is it is definitely protective of the rain that we are getting now. Uh, protective of wind or anything like that and so it is definitely indoors it's nice and cozy inside so baby yes baby where do i enter if i walked or got dropped off well you are going to find the republic parking slash theater district parking garage that is where we entered. It is not the place that we officially started off. <laughs> However, we made it there. We made it there. It was definitely an adventure getting there. Back to teleporting. <laughs> so, we entered. No, oh, okay. Do we first of all? <laughs> The event says it's at the Bayou Music Center. I think that's how, I think that's the name district. Of it. No, it's a building. Bayou Music Center. Center. So we go to the Bayou Music Center. We're following maps, okay. <laughs> and should have done ways. <laughs> we are looking for 520 Texas Avenue. We see 553. We see 502. We, we asked about five people. Hey, y'all know where 520 Texas Avenue is. They did not know at Nobody all. Nobody knew. They are like, well, this building's been abandoned for quite some time. I don't know why your GPS would bring you here. <laughs> so we decided to find an elevator and we say, okay, we're, we're here. We find an elevator. We go up to the second floor and there's a bunch of people hanging up, putting up Christmas trees. And we say, I don't think we're at the right place. So we found the Bayou Music Center. We did not find 520 Texas Avenue on the strip of the Bayou Music Center. So we asked a few people. Nobody seemed to know where this place was. And a few people said, I'm pretty sure that this building was sold and they might have canceled the event. So we went up to the second floor of the Bayou Music Center where they were apparently getting ready for something else. There was about 10 red Christmas trees and somebody coming in with a keyboard, so I can only imagine that that was a concert of some sort. So we quickly decided that we were in the wrong place. Um, then we went back down to the street and got in contact with Whoville. They later instructed us, we need to go down Rust Street. And we 
said, okay, let's go down Rust Street. We go back and forth. We we did did a couple of did a couple of circles. We did a couple of circles. Um, I don't think my GPS knew what was going on either. <laughs> She's all huh? <laughs> we were lost so so bad that we had to get the feds involved. <laughs> the feds had to point us to the right direction and they didn't even know for sure. They was like, well, well we, whenever we went to park today, we saw, saw this, some signs. This sign. And let me let me walk you over the, to where to where the parking garage is cuz you know, y'all y'all seem to look like y'all y'all need to figure out where y'all need to go. So I said, "Appreciate it. You got lost in front of the federal building in Houston." So, the parking garage that we go to, uh, we go into the parking garage, and for me, if you're coming in and off the street, sure, it's wheelchair accessible, but it looks scary going, going <laughs> in that parking garage because there was a grate. On each side of the the road where the, the arm comes up and I thought that those grates were too big for my wheels that I was gonna bottom out or something they did look too big so reluctantly I popped a wheelie and Somehow got over them without going in the hole. By the grace of God. I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> um, I wouldn't recommend going that way in a wheelchair if I wasn't me. Just wouldn't recommend it to anybody else. However, once we got to the parking garage... We were still lost. <laughs> we found the security guard that that ran the parking garage. And he was nice enough to say, I know almost <laughs> where you're wanting to go to. <laughs> Let's uh, find out. We go down and he informs us. I've been here for 12 years. Never been on an elevator here. <laughs> and about that time, the elevator starts shaking. We were so scared. <laughs> and not just a little shake, like that. You ever hear those horror stories where people, like, all of a sudden start falling? It yeah. was about to be that story. <laughs> I don't think it was actually going to be that story, but <laughs> there was a lot of moving. <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, scared all three of us. <laughs> Not Whoville's fault. Well, we're... Um, we get down to the parking level that we need to be at. And we see this little bitty sign that's, you know, like the kiosk signs that says, Welcome to Whoville. Elevator. Go we... back up. Mm -hmm. And we're back at the Bayou City, by the Bayou Music Center, or I guess I forgot what it's called. Teleportation to me. And so is that teleportation. <laughs> we did not teleport. She's crazy. She don't know what she's talking about. My gosh. But all in all, y'all, we had so much fun. It was it was an adventure. We met some nice people. We uh, got to taste some nice things: hot chocolate, dough cones. Uh, we enjoyed supporting small businesses. Uh, so we're we're very thankful to, to be able to do that. Yeah. 
Shout out Dokone. Shout out to Dokone. And we got some cool merchandise. So. Oh yeah, show them what you got, baby. Oh, uh, uh, Garland got me this. It's a bottle opener. But it also has a thing for your charger, for your phone. There's the one for the iPhone. And there's the one for the Android. And then you show them the other thing. And the, the USB. Open. Oh, yeah. And this part right here. Because they're looking at you like, how do you, do you plug the, the thing USB. in? USB! Yeah! So you I... just plug that into your computer or your little charging cube. Yeah. And you're, you're good to go. Ready to charge your phone. Thanks to Whoville. And girl, I got a hat. I got a nice Whoville hat. Yeah. <laughs> we had so much fun. Very, very festive. Oh, yeah. It's the Whoville. I like it. Oh, no, we had a great day. It was so much fun. It was fun. It was nice to, to get out in a safe environment. A uh, great, great place to uh, to take pictures Lots in different pictures. settings. <laughs> it's an uh, Instagram user's paradise, y'all. It's a great place for kids. They'll have so much fun. Uh, there's a there's a spot for kids to throw fake snow. <laughs> if kids are interested in that, I don't know what kid wouldn't be. Considering um, we don't get snow in Houston. Go see get go get some fake snow. Uh, go support a uh, a cool Houston Whoville spot. Oh yeah. It was so much fun. And it's sorry, there's something in my eye. And it's great for pictures, great for the family, great for Social distancing. It, yes, social distancing it was definitely enforced. Uh, there's complimentary hand sanitizers. So yes. if you're looking for something to do. Something nice for the kids to do. It It's worth the scavenger hunt mm -hmm. if you're coming in off the street. Yeah. In our case. In our least. case, we came off the street. <laughs> it sounds like it's much easier if you drive and park in the parking garage. Because you go straight into that door and there's no way you can miss it. <laughs> we had fun and it was great. I enjoyed just being with Garland. It was so much fun. We hung out and it was a great, you know, date day experience. If you're looking for something that's not an all day. Yeah, it's not all day. So that, that that's a plus if you don't want to spend all day out. So there, let me ask, was Whoville, was wheel, Whoville wheelchair accessible? Whoville was wheelchair accessible. If you can transfer, you know, with a sliding board or without one, and you want to hop on the the couches and take pictures, then I, I say go for it. Uh, and have fun. You know? Well, uh, this was fun. We'll, uh, we'll see y'all on the next one. Yes, y'all. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you have an event that you may want to know if it's wheelchair accessible or not, please message us at theheartoftexastv at gmail.com. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.